Hey guys, in this video we're going to review these five hunting rifles. We spent hundreds of dollars to buy all of them so we could provide for you an unbiased review and we told the government that it was a business expense. And then we came out here in the desert and we told our wives that we were working as we tested them for the last hundred hours. So this is our unbiased review of how to get the best bang for your buck with your gun. What the heck? Kid's a little nervous to shoot this one. It sucks. We're back in the office now and we're ready to go in depth through all these. I've pulled up our Excel sheet after we've done a crazy amount of testing on these. Uh, so let's go through the field uh, of the gun. So we're gonna kind of work through worst to best in this yeah. uh, review. Um, and we got to start with the Mossberg Patriot, which for both of us, oh, it makes me sad that this isn't our favorite gun. Um, I, I was rooting for this gun. I was. Because when we took it out of the box, it's gorgeous. Well, and okay, as we messed around with it, right, as we played, we tested the trigger, we actually measured the pull, we played with the bolt, just everything, mm -hmm. it just seem to be the high performer. Yeah, now this one is a wood stock. You can also get in a, in a synthetic stock. And there are a few other wood options as well. Yes, but it's like, it's a good stock actually. The recoil right. pad is actually doing something. It has beautiful spiral fluting on the bolt. <laughs> I need spiral fluting. Yeah. Um, fluted barrel, like aesthetically really nice gun, but also just functional build. It's just a solid gun. The mag works really well. It feeds, you slap that mag in. It's, yeah, it's so well done. And I will say like, that is not a given on these guns. No, the some magazine, of them are a pain. Some of them like, they, I mean, don't just pop in. And yeah. loading this magazine, Yes, it's all plastic, but it's a dream. This I is dream of loading the easiest loading <laughs> it's a magazine. Weird dreams, out here. but I dream it. So <laughs> on a lot of other, fa I said how awesome this magazine was to put in, and then I and then I jammed it. It's good. No, but you know, for a lot of factors, like this was the favorite. But in, until we shot it, eight groups with two different types of ammo from two different shooters with the Mossberg Patriot. Couldn't really see real well through this cheap scope. How we did? Let's see. Our, oh my goodness. Not even all what the, the heck? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so left side of this target. This is that Jim. That looks like. One, two. Oh yeah, over there. One, two, three, what, four, Holy five Holy crap. Yeah. That's like a 12 inch group. So, so the Hornady was better, I'd say overall on this thing but it's but i mean wow compared i don't know compared to other guns we've been shooting in the similar price point that's disappointing to me uh disappointing that's embarrassing <laughs> that is embarrassing with every gun there you know some copies may do better than another sure um you know it, it's just just a fact it could have happened on anyone with this gun that we purchased it shoots like a uh, dog. Yeah. It I'm not is... confident I could shoot my dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlie's like crippled and needs to be put down. You're like, I'm sorry, Charlie. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor dog. Um, really, like group sizes were like Charlie six was inches. the name of my dog plus. when I was younger. Oh, <laughs> yes. Then you bring up something. Did your dad try to shoot him? No. Uh, <laughs> no, there was no shooting of that dog. Groups are like six Sorry. inches plus frequently oh, on this gun. And we tried everything. Like I thought, okay, scope, something's wrong with the scope. It was a cheap scope. This actually isn't the one that came on it. We tried a different scope on it. And I torqued everything down to the perfect torque ratings, everything, just to make sure. Tried a different rail. Um, I cleaned this thing until I got a white patch. Do you have any idea how long that takes? <laughs> Apparently about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Um, and still it just shoots like a dog. We yeah. could not get it to shoot accurately. Now, big caveat, we watched several other reviews of this gun and they shot great, no problem. So I do think it's just this copy, but how do you recommend a gun if the copy we and bought is a failure? And that's if, if you go to the store, you go to your sporting goods store, you go to Cabela's, Bass Pro, whatever, and you pick up a gun 
that's the copy you get. Right. You can't just take it back to the store and say, I didn't like this one, can I have my money back? Yeah, they aren't taking they, it back. No refunds on and these things. And a lot things. of guys you know, don't have money to and, buy a bunch of guns. And I can't go sell that gun to anybody just with a good conscience because right. I know that it's it's flawed. Yeah, so it's, we just wasted Wasted money. 350 bucks. TC Compass. Um, it's it's really not a bad gun. There's some weird things on it. The the bolt release you have to hold in halfway down to get it out. The safety is a little funky, but some people kind of prefer that. The stock is really cheesy, uh, but it does come with a, a threaded barrel. The recoil pad is too firm. This one was about $250 without a scope, which is actually kind of nice that this particular one came unscoped because now I get 100 bucks to go spend on a scope that's almost certainly better than any of the ones that came that would have come with it trigger pull five and a half yeah. pounds a little crazy and it's a bit of a pain to to adjust it it is adjustable mm -hmm. but it's a bit of a pain okay now let's talk about accuracy so we mentioned the mossberg i mean it was like six inches but it, hard even to measure because it was so off and off the paper right. uh, tc compass our median of the best three groups shot with it was 1.3485 inches solid almost moa gun at 100 yards yeah. The best uh, ammo through this gun was Hornady. Um, I forgot to mention on the Remington, we got best results with the, with the Remington ammo. Yep. But still, it wasn't the most accurate. I'll the build quality out, is only fair. I will fair. point out something else. This magazine was probably my least favorite. Um, in Part of it, in how it actually loads into the gun, um, it was easy to not get it in all the way. But also, like the way that you load the yeah, bullets into the gun, we had a, gun, failure, with we had a failure with it. All right, this is the Thompson Center, and we are having some issues with this magazine. It sucks. It really does. It is hard to load. As you can tell, we got some shells down in there that ain't coming out. So, uh, not cool. Yeah, we're, we just couldn't even get the cartridge out. All right, the field is clearing up, my friends. <laughs> This is the Remington? Remington Model 783, and out of the box, I wanted to hate this gun. Mm -hmm. um, we both did. Um, I mean, seriously, plastic? The whole, I mean, it, it, for a composite stock, it feels cheap plastic. It feels we, like a BB gun it stock. It really does. It, it feels like the $60 BB gun stock, mm -hmm. even. Um, like, just look at that. <laughs> the, the, the plastic <laughs> sling studs. <laughs> Yeah, the recoil pad is way too firm to be effective. Um, it's just... Mm. And then you go into the bolt. Um, it has... When you're opening it, it, it opened fine, but it's got a pretty bad catch right there. Bad catch. Um, to the point where when we were trying to shoot our um, uh, uh, Winchester ammo through it, it actually just like... We couldn't get it we out. We couldn't get it out. And it that's partially, maybe entirely, I don't know, Winchester's fault, but right. it does have a bad catch no right. matter what. Exactly. And this did come scoped. But, <laughs> but we're laughing because we were like, we were like, I'll pay you 20 bucks if you're the one to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> because the eye relief on that scope was, I mean, we measured it, it one, one inch. inch. One inch from your forehead. Jim's a little nervous to shoot this one. I do not want to pull this trigger. <laughs> oh. This is the Remington Model 783. And as you'll see, we know. Scope your head. <laughs> Look how close you have to be. I'm probably yelling. That is where I have a full view. It's about scope. an inch from his forehead. The eye relief. Every other scope we tested, two and a quarter in, or two and three quarter inches was a, was about right what there. we were seeing. That's where I have full eye relief, right here. One inch. And on a 7mm seven seven mag, <laughs> <rim mag. laughs> feels oh. a little dangerous. You guys better subscribe to this channel because we're working hard for you. I'm about to sacrifice <laughs> my forehead. Oh gosh, I do not want to do this. Shoulder it well, my friend. <laughs> I feel like a kid the first time you shoot a 22 and you're like, it's going to kill me. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get my shot and just pull back a little bit. That is gonna kill me. Hey, 
And that's while, bench, while shooting bench rest. If you're prone, you're gonna be a little bit closer to it. Like in seven mag, I was sure I was gonna get scoped with this yeah. thing. Uh, not um, cool. And it didn't, but I mean, the scope that it came with was awful. Buy this gun, throw away the scope, and you at yeah, least- Yeah, if, if, if you're going to buy this gun, try to find it out unscoped. Yeah, and yeah. you know, as many negatives as there were on the build quality, it's actually a really solid shooter. The yeah. trigger was one of my favorites, yeah. um, actually, out of all of them. And the median group size uh, was 1.243 inches. Very solid. It performed best with Remington ammo. Um, it, it's actually, it's a shooter. And I, 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 it wouldn't be my first choice, no. but I wouldn't be upset if I bought this gun because it does shoot even if the build is Which is saying something because when we first picked it up, um, one of the things that we said was, man, if somebody gave me this gun, I don't know if I would use it. Yeah, but especially after, with that scope. After we tried it, eh, actually, it's all right. Numero dos. Savage Axis. Um, yeah, so this is a very solid, very unremarkable gun. Yes. <laughs> like, from the build quality, like, it's fine. It's good. Um, it's better than some of them, but not the best out there. Uh -huh. um, the the trigger it doesn't come with the Accu trigger, which is a, really hurts it at this price point. The yeah. safety is solid. Um, I like how the safety works. I like it's just it's a solid gun. It does have a tight spot here in the bolt, but it feels deliberate. It doesn't feel like it's just a catch. It feels like it's on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like the, the recoil pad. Did you no, did you think of the same I, thing as I did? You know what? I didn't notice it as a problem too much, but because this one we got chambered in 270, mm -hmm. um, it didn't impact me. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh -huh. But seriously, like just the physics of it, the less area you have on your shoulder, the more pressure there is that hits you. Right. And so like, why would you take some of that off of there? Not to mention it's, it's not as stiff as um, some, um, but it's also not as soft. Yeah, so if you were shooting prone and you're kind of rolled over a little bit, it's probably better to have this cut. But if you're shooting standing, bench rest, anything else, it's just taking a lot of this, air, taking that much more area away. And so it's it's a sharper push. The recoil pad isn't soft enough to help it any. Right. So I, I didn't love it. You can obviously adjust the stock size, which is kind of cool. Um, with that, there is a lot to like, especially when we shoot your thing. So we'll see the data. Um, Savage Axis, average or median of the best three groups uh, out of eight groups, four shot groups, 100 yards, was 1.035 inches and the best ammunition was Hornady. So this is sub MOA because MOA is 1.05, this is 1.035, um, so we're slightly sub MOA. It's a solid choice. Um, I bought one of these for one of my sons. And I'm glad I did. After we've done all these reviews, it's a solid, it's a solid choice. For sure. Alright, all right. you've been waiting for it. Our number one pick was the Ruger American. Yeah, we can't go too far into this one without noticing the gold ring. <laughs> so this one we have a loophole scope. This is for my other son. Uh, he shoots this gun. Um, and so it does have a little bit nicer uh, scope and we put a muzzle brake on there. Could it have impacted the accuracy scores a tiny bit? This is a very cheap, like the cheapest loop bolt scope you're gonna get. And I, 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 maybe a little bit, but um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, From an accuracy standpoint though, I think that even with the, with the type of scopes that came on the other guns, this would have shot at least as well as the Savage. Yeah, this one had a very fat reticle and stuff. It, it wasn't doing it's it any favor, I don't think. But if, when we take in all the other factors, um, I mean, the stock, again, it, it's pretty unremarkable. Um, but it is solid. It is solid. Like, like, you know, on some of the others, when you pull down here, there's a huge it just, div. It's a lot. This one, because it has that beveled edge here, it's just much stiffer. The magazine goes in just fine. The bolt is pretty solid. Again, I mean, it, it's got that little stiff spot right there. But, it, but this feels really deliberate. It feels... I don't know. It and doesn't it feel like it's feeds broken. every time. With some every of them, time. like I would pull the bolt back and I had to watch to see if a cartridge right. was going I'm in. I'm confident I can just. It's gonna shoot go. every time. The safety makes a lot of sense. I can just flick it with my thumb. Um, it's red when it's on fire. Uh, the trigger is a solid trigger. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay. I don't. I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. It's just solid. The numbers for this one, man, does it shoot. <laughs> 
Um, average or the median group size at 100 yards was 0.8995 inches with factory Hornady ammunition gave yeah. us the best groups. Um, that's dang impressive It is uh, from a cheap gun. Um, again, there were some human factors in all of this. We wanted to kind of give a real test of it. You know, this wasn't shooting, you know, scientific. We weren't locking the guns down and everything. This was real human beings shooting right. from a bench rest, rest. But we shot so many rounds through all of the guns trying, you know, we switched some scopes around. We tried different loads. We tried everything to well, kind we of reduce the, the number of factors. We also went to the extent of we, we got each of the guns. We... we bore sighted them and then we and then we shot through it to get them sighted in mm-hmm. put we put several rounds through each one pretty much a whole box of ammo through each one mm-hmm. and then we brought them back and we cleaned them out mm-hmm. um, and then we took them out for the accuracy test we mm-hmm. both shot um, multiple groups on two different types of ammo and that's where these numbers come from right and so while yes there's human error built into all that when you go hunting there's human error built into it and we wanted to see what we could possibly do how could we shoot at 100 yards with each of these five guns? So look at look at the accuracy numbers for all of them. Um, what I would say is, you know, the difference between the, the Savage and the Remington, it's like tenth two tenths of an inch. Of an inch. Yeah. You know, the difference between the Savage and the Ruger, like, you know, oh, one right. tenth of an inch. It's like, I wouldn't make your decision based on one copy test of each of these guns. Um, you know, maybe we got a good copy of one of them, and I, I, we certainly got a bad copy of the, of the Mossberg, right? So don't make your decision on that. But just know kind of what to expect. You know, a TC Compass, like, it doesn't matter how good the barrel and the crown and everything else is. If you have a five and a half pound trigger, you're probably not going to shoot it that great, <laughs> you know? And so there are a lot of factors to consider, but overall, our favorite gun ended up being the Humble Ruger American. We put a lot of money and time into this uh, review, um, including just buying the guns ourselves because we didn't want any bias of a company cherry picking an example. Um, and so if you are going to buy these guns or if you're gonna be buying anything on you know, Cabela's or Amazon, just click our link in the description and it helps us, it's an affiliate. We get the same commission, doesn't matter what brand we uh, recommend and stuff, but it does give us a little credit for making these videos for you guys and gives a, a backfire, a subscribe um, so that I mean, we'll you'll get to hang out with us. Yeah, and we are going to keep doing these that kinds of privilege. things. We're going to like, we're going to keep buying like it lots of cool stuff. Is a privilege. Remember <laughs> Dwight Schrute? <laughs> Do you remember that episode? Off the top of my head, but blood alone moves the wheels of history. We got to end this. <laughs>